Perfect, so I got them all to fit, which is wonderful. I'm just gonna check it and make sure that it looks like what I'm thinking. What I was saying as I spoke so eloquently to myself was that, um, <laughs> well, hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Elisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You, De Bella Mente Bella. De Bella Mente y Tu y Yo. <laughs> Every time I got to tell myself, Bella. Okay, anyway, um, today I thought I'd bring you guys along for a shop vlog. As you know, I've been going on quite a bit of vacations this month and I just got back from Las Vegas. Any of the orders that were placed before I traveled, I went ahead and cleared out the queue completely. And while I was gone for those four days, any orders that were placed during that time, those are the orders we're working on today. So Etsy really works well with you know, if you can adjust your shipping time, my shipping time is five business days. So me being gone for four days still leaves me quite a bit of time in order to process orders and get them out in a timely manner. Some of these orders aren't due until the end of the week, but I'm going to go ahead and get them all out by Monday and start all over with a fresh, clean queue. So yeah, if you want to see how I process some orders and also do a couple of fun activities, because there's some things, creative projects that I need to work on today, then let's get right into the video. Okay, so first things first, I wanna go ahead and work on all these post-it notes. These are my newest teller slips. So there's the IOU, um, and this one's for, if you do a scratch off and you don't have all the money to scratch, to put in what you actually scratched off, you can make yourself an IOU post-it note and pay it back on next payday. Also, these are tell it, teller slips. Um, these are the pink ones and these are the blue ones. Now, I do have some other teller slips that I offer in my shop as well, but these are the two newest designs. And so I wanna go ahead and get some of these shipped out as well. Um, whenever you're doing your cash budgeting, you can actually list out all the denominations that you need. So you'll have the exact denominations for each envelope when you're cash stuffing. And that's what these are used for. They come in a pack of 50 and you only use one teller slip each time you get paid. So they can last for quite some time. So let's go ahead and start packaging these first. So, as many of you may know, I like to package them in the smaller cellophane bags, but I don't have any, I think I only have like about three left. So I'm just gonna use these large cello bags. Um, and I do have some orders. Let me look and see about the orders because if someone ordered like a pack of two or three, I'll just put those in all together. So like Jessie, thank you, Jessie. She ordered two packs of the IOU post-it. So I'm just gonna package those together for her. I've been doing a different trick about putting the thank you cards in and I'll show you guys that later. But for right now, I literally just put them in cello bags. I have a trash can down below and they come packed like this. And then I fill out a thank you card, which I'm gonna do that later, but I do do that. And I stick it in here like this and put a thank you sticker on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and package up the ones that I can find from my orders um, right away. These are the character post-it notes, so they look a little different, but um, people are ordering those as well. So now that I have all of the ones that are for the orders, I'm gonna package up the rest of these and put them into the post-it note bin that I have. I do have some double packs of characters on the side, and I'm gonna put a, a couple of packs of doubles of all of these as well, just in case someone orders more than one. But I'm gonna get them all inside of this bin, and then we'll move on to packaging up some of the orders.
perfect. So I got them all to fit, which is wonderful. So I have all the pink ones here, as well as a couple of double packs of pink ones. These are all the character ones behind that. These are all the blue ones, and then the IOUs are towards the back. I think the limited quantity is mainly IOUs right now, but I will be restocking over time, but I got all the post-it notes done. So now we're going to turn to working on all the post-it notes that we packaged up earlier for the orders. I'm going to work on printing their labels, print, making their thank you cards, as well as packaging them for shipment. So yeah, that's what we're going to do next. Let's see. First things first, we need to put thank you cards in these. So this one is definitely for Jesse. You guys, Jesse is the one. Thank you, Jesse, for your order already said, but Jesse is the one that actually suggested that I make some IOU post-its. And so she was the first person to order. She's off of play play. Thank you girl for the idea. Obviously your idea was a success. Okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead and um, write up Jesse's thank you note. And I know you're watching. So thank you so much, Jesse. You guys, if you have any suggestions or anything that you wanna see in the shop, just let me know, you know, because nine times out of 10, if you're asking for it, someone else is as well. And so, um, yeah, it just looks great when everybody wins. There's that. See? I like to use these small eight by four for the post-it notes when I can. I have some larger ones, but I like to use these little small ones. I'm just gonna write a little um, initial down here because I also wanna create a reel that is going to be about packaging up these orders. So I'm gonna put them all to the side and I'll print the labels in a minute. Okay, so I'm all finished packaging the ones that are just post-it notes and then all of these um, actually have something else to go with them. So I'm just gonna sit them here for right now um, because once I complete their other parts of their package, I'll have the post-it notes already ready to pull and ship with their order. So now I'm gonna go ahead and film a reel or short in regards to packaging up these orders, putting labels. So let me go ahead and do that first and then we'll get back onto packaging some more or, or making some more orders. This might be a little bit of a weird angle, but <laughs> I wanted to make it so that you guys don't necessarily see the computer as the labels are coming out. I'm going to be just doing a reel about labels and packaging orders. Let me shut the door. All right, because this is going to be like an ASMR style video, so it's going to be really quiet as I'm filming. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to Etsy and just pick up the orders that I need here. And I'm gonna start from the bottom because the bottom, the last order is what's here in the front. So we're only gonna do about five of them. I'm just gonna check it and make sure that it looks like what I'm thinking because I could chop all this together, but I wanna make sure the sounds are there. And I just wanna make sure we are able to see, which it doesn't look like we are, so I'm gonna keep going. So let me just do that. I don't wanna disclose anybody's information. All right, so I'm gonna work on this whole reel. Let me go ahead and like finish filming everything, editing it, and then I'll bring it here on the screen so you guys can see kind of the final product. Pet peeve number one, when I think I'm filming and the camera's turned the wrong way. So it's filming the wall instead of filming me. Like who has time for that? Anyway, what I was saying as I spoke so eloquently to myself, was that um, <laughs> I was gonna package up the three debt trackers because some people only bought debt trackers. One was um, Rebecca, thank you, Elizabeth, thank you, and Alicia. And somebody had left me a message and I read it out loud and everything. You guys, this camera is playing games with me today. Hold on, let me see what it was. What was it? It was Rebecca. She said, thank you for creating an easy cash budget system. May God bless you and your family for helping others learn how to budget their money and become debt-free. Rebecca, 
You're gonna make me smile out here. I'm blushing out here in these streets. Anyway, um, <laughs> I love when you guys leave me messages. I don't even know how to reply to them. So I kind of just read them, smile, move forward. But thank you so much, Rebecca. You know, when you guys tell me that you, um, you know, are being helped by the products that I'm creating, that motivates me even more. <laughs> Were you guys here last video when I talked about this long hair don't care? I care because it's in the way all the time. I bought a hair tie. Let me put this hair up. Hold on. Hold on. This, yo. It'll be getting in my everlasting way like a blanket. It's like a literal blanket. I cannot. Okay. I don't even know what that looked like, but we're going to leave that like that. Okay. So, yeah. When you guys tell me um, that I'm inspiring you or helping you along your journey, it is like so rewarding for me. Because I'm like the type of person, like, I love to help people. And um, this is like helping me while, you guys are helping me while I'm helping you. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. It's all like reciprocal. And I love that. So, I don't always comment back. But just know, I read you guys' comments. And I'm like, oh, that is so sweet. And it just makes me feel inspired. I got the reel or the short done. And I'm going to put it here on the screen so you guys can see it in just a minute. If I didn't already insert it. Um, so you guys can see what I actually put together. It wasn't nothing too fancy, but I was labeling packages. And honestly, the best part about packing orders is labeling them because that means that they're ready to go and they just need to be dropped off. Like we're done. Yay. Like that's so cool. And plus I like the sound of the printer. Very ASMR for me. But, um, anyway, what I'm going to do is package these real quick. You guys, I be looking out the window and being nosy with the neighbors, trying to see what they're doing while I'm over here working. They don't know I'm up here, eye spying with my little right eye. And then we get all these down here because they're all going in my little IKEA bag. Clean up my desk. Go get me some lunch. Um. And I turned on the laminator for nothing. It'll be nice and warm when I get back, I guess, huh? All right, so I'm gonna go get something to eat, finish off this coffee, and then um, I'll come back and we'll be working on some vellum scratch-offs, um, a scratch and save book, um, what else? And a bunch of A7 character envelopes. And those are the ones that I might do tomorrow because I need to create the template and, oh, and I also have some A6 envelopes. So A6 and A7 envelopes, those I'll probably make all tomorrow. So it looks like this is gonna be a two day vlog. Um, also some scratch off challenges. <laughs> I have some of those that I need to do. So I'm gonna do the best I can, okay? But it's already 1.30 and I probably won't be back up here until at least 2.30 because the place is a little ways away for me to go get the bowl. But I will be back shortly. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, so for the villain scratch offs, what I try to do is pre-cut them and get them all ready. I do have some that are already set up. I also have a character envelope. This is what I need to create a listing for a little bit later. I'm going to be sending this one to Ro from um, Ro's Budget Life. I think that's her channel. But she said she wanted one and she's always supporting me. So I'm going to be sending this one to her. But I will be listing this as a listing in my shop. I had created an extra one the other day. So this is hers. Thank you, Ro, for always being such a great support to me. And I'm also going to be sending you this. So do not buy it. Okay. All right. And then, um, but I will use this one to take pictures so I can put the listing up. So you guys will see me create an Etsy listing today as well. There's a lot to be done. See what happens when you take a few days off. Okay. These are ones that were already created. And then these are all the ones that aren't. So what I'm going to do is go through the order and find which ones customers wanted and bought, and then we'll make them. So I have a green five, a shimmery gold five, I like I already have that one. Yeah, that one's already made. And then a pink five. So they come in three different dollar amounts, either $5, either all the dots are between five and 30, um, 20 and 50 or 50 and 100. So this person ordered all $5 ones between five and 30. So that's for Nelly. Hey, Nelly girl. All right, and then this person ordered a mint green five. Okay, Nia ordered three shimmery gold there's one shimmery gold 50s two uh oh that's not shimmery gold hold on 
Hold your horses. Hold on. Okay, three. Three of those. And she also wanted three mint greens. One, two, three. Is that three? Two, three. All right, so there's that. Um, and she wants no hole punch. Okay, I gotta remember that part. That's the part that be getting me, y'all. I'm serious. Y'all be like, no hole punch, and I've been an already hole puncher before I read what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so uh, let's see. One white one goes to Denise. Uh, Tiffany ordered a white 530, a pink 530. Hold on, let me get it, let me find it. A pink 530. Uh, mint green 530. La la la. Francis ordered white 530, no hole punch. So when I package these orders, I'm really gonna have to make sure I got what I need because child, I've been a hole punch the wrong thing. Okay, okay, okay. I think that's everything. So all of these can go back in the shelf up there, but for right now, I'm just gonna sit them. I'll sit them up here for right now. I don't feel like getting them. These two are already ordered and ready to go. So they look like this once they're completed. They're scratch off. You can't see the numbers from the back. They do have the pocket where you put the money and they're hole punched if you request um, so that they will go inside of your binder. So that's what the item is that's for sale. These two are already created, like I said, and we're going to work on these. So let me see how many I need to make because that tells me how many sheets of laminate I need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me get some laminate. It's right underneath you guys, actually. So I gotta get it. Okay. Hold on. I'll be stacking laminate over here. The laminate really is over there on the shelf, but I like to put some here so I could just grab and do what I gotta do. Notice I don't wanna get out of this chair, okay? I, she be trying to sit in this chair. I don't really wanna get out of it, but sometimes I have to. All right, so I use three and five mil laminate. I use both of those. So I'm gonna work on these and I'll be back once they're all like done. I might put it in time lapse and just, you know, keep working. Um, and I'll show you guys what's the end result. We'll be packaging up some vellum envelope orders. Okay, so here they're all done, all sized up, all the different colors. I also remembered that I needed to do a couple of Christmas envelopes for some orders. So I did go ahead and include those. I just made them since I had the space, but they're all set to go. So now I just need to put the stickers and label all the corners of them. So I'm gonna work on that next. So yeah. I think I showed you guys before, but I like to use this corner rounder. I got it from Amazon. It's called Kotomaru Pro, um, but it rounds the corners really well. I haven't had any jams, and I've had about four or five different corner rounders, honestly. Wait, am I exaggerating? Maybe I had like three, but still, this one works the best. So I'm gonna round all these corners, and then after that, um, I need to stick all the stickers on. There's so many things that I wanna get done today, but I think I might, do as much as I can today and then move on till tomorrow and do some more.
So I've been a little busy. <laughs> I finished the vellum scratch offs and I put them all into order piles. So this is five orders here, six, seven, eight, nine orders here. And what I'm gonna do is actually package all of these up first, then go get that smoothie bowl that I spoke about. And then when I come back, I'll be working on A6 and A7 vellum envelopes because that's the bulk of what I have left to do. I think I'm down after these nine to about 15 orders. Wait. Yeah, I think 15 orders will be left. So those 15 must all have some type of envelopes. I also had some just regular vellum envelopes included in the orders. So I'm gonna get all the envelope situations together and then we will be done. Thank you guys. Thank you everybody whose name is on these cards. I'm not listening one by one, but you guys, I really appreciate your orders every time you guys order. So let me go ahead and get them packaged so you can get them. Do Denise. Denise had a vellum scratch off two double-sided scratch-off cards. So she got one of the 100 and 250. They come in four different denominations. And she also got a 75, 200. And then she got some IOU post-its. So for Denise, I'm gonna put her card, her thank you card inside of here. With a sticker. So I'm going to go get the smoothie bowl. And when I get back, we're going to work on listing the character envelope, working on the new product. And I'll show you guys the beginning stages of that. And then um, we need to do a scratch off book. Let me see. A couple of other orders. One of the vellum scratch offs I messed up. So I need to actually make one more vellum scratch off. Um, and then all of the A6, A7 envelopes. So there's still a lot to be done. But first we eat. Okay. And then we'll be back to get all that stuff done. So this is going to be a rather long vlog. Like I said, watch what you can. If you have to exit, exit. Come back and watch the rest another day. And I appreciate you guys for being here with me. It's like I have like a little bit of company here while I'm trying to hustle through all these orders. It's giving me a little more incentive to keep going. So, all right, let me go get me a smoothie bowl and I might bring you guys along just to show you. Well, hey, you guys, welcome back to day two of the vlog. So yeah, there's still a lot to be done. I got my morning coffee. Yesterday, I know I left off saying I was gonna go get me a smoothie bowl and then I would be back in order to, you know, work on some more products and orders in the end of the night. But you guys, it just got so overwhelming. I have so many other things going on with my daughter and she has a performance. And so, yeah, I just never got back up. Um, I did print all the beginning steps of the A6 and A7 character envelopes as well as the A6 vellum envelopes. So I do have a few envelopes to make. I'm gonna try to clear out the queue as best I can. There were orders that were placed last night and today. And so those orders I'll have to work on later in the week. But for today, I wanna clear anything that was ordered through Sunday if I can, okay? Also, when I get done with that, I do wanna create the listing for this character challenge envelope. My Etsy shop is not super aesthetically pleasing, just so you guys know, okay? All the listings don't match, they're not exact, anything like that. It doesn't have a whole theme that's incorporated into my shop. And that really isn't necessary in order for you to sell. I'm not saying it's not beautiful, okay? But most times when a customer shops on Etsy, they're looking for a specific item and they find that item and they don't necessarily see the whole theme of your shop. I think it can boost your sales if needed, but I've really not ever went back and made everything 
cohesive, okay? And I want you to know that if you're interested in starting an Etsy shop, it's not necessary for you to begin. Get your listings out there. You can always go back and make it better later. So don't let the small details hinder you from doing what it is you wanna do, or at least getting started. So outside of making the listing for the character challenge envelope, I also want to show you the beginning steps of a new product that I'll be releasing later this week. And then finally, I wanna talk about all of these. You guys, all of these are character envelopes that maybe I put the wrong character on. Maybe I put the wrong title. Like maybe they wanted Starbucks, but I put coffee with a coffee cup. Or they said dining out and I put dine out. Or, you know, I don't know. They wanted uh, something else other than a cupcake with spend. Or takeout, maybe they want it you know, an avocado and I accidentally put a sushi. Well, most of them are made before I go back and check the orders. And then when I get back to the orders, this long hair don't care, I'm starting to care. Um, but then when I go back and I check the order to make sure the character is exactly what they said, if it's off in any way, then I just put it to the side and I end up having some. I think I have some more in here as well. Let me see. And so I end up with these extra envelopes that I would like to sell, but I don't know these are ones, grocery, sushi, snack time, and whoever ordered them, I didn't round the corners, but they're already envelopes, already ready to go, you know? So I'm trying to figure out a way that I can either sell these or do these in a giveaway, but there's so many and they're kind of specific that I want people to be able to choose if this is something they want at a discounted rate. Maybe instead of charging $5 for these envelopes like I typically do, I would just charge like $2, you know? And you could get one that says eat out with an avocado. So I gotta figure out a way that I can list these in the shop as maybe like oops envelopes, but they have to have the character and the name associated with it so you guys will know what it is you're selecting to purchase, you know? So anyway, um, that's another project I need to work on for the future and that might be coming soon. I don't know that we'll get to it today, because it is already, what time? 12.58. <laughs> it's already one o'clock, but it's because I filmed and edited a video for YouTube. It's uploading right now. That will be released tonight, and I'm sure you guys will already have seen that. It's a uh, cash stuffing of my YouTube income. You will already have seen that by the time this video comes out. But um, because I was doing that this morning, now I only have about four hours really to work up here today because my daughter has a performance tonight and I got to get her over to rehearsal and then go see her sing, y'all. So let me get started. I'm going to put you guys in time lapse and I'll go ahead and create the envelopes for the orders that I have and then we'll reconvene and talk about how to create a listing for that specialty character envelope. So that's what I want to get done next. All right. So I will see you guys in a bit. It's about 2.50 and I just got done cutting down all of these A7s that need to be going out and then all of these A6. Now I laminate them and then I cut them down and then I re-laminate them with the pockets on the back in order to make them into envelopes. And so this is, and I had also a few coin ones. People wanted zipper pouches for their coins. Um, but this is the reason why I kind of held off on doing these and I'm thinking about pausing them again because um, they take up so much of my time. Now I was able to do like what, I don't know how many orders yesterday, at least 35 orders yesterday in maybe three hours. And here we are today, two hours in, and this is probably going to equate to about maybe six orders. I think, no more than that, about 10 orders, about 10 orders worth, but still 
and that's not even including the time that it took me to create the template so that's the reason why I kind of put them on pause especially while I was making the savings box because the bang for the buck um, in other words the amount of time spent versus what I'm actually getting paid to make these is just not worth it for a all the time product but occasionally to list them and have them available for purchase that's fine um, and I feel like I could just do it for a little while the same way I am today and then after that be done and kind of shut it down that's probably soon to come in regards to the a6 and a7 laminated envelopes um, but I do have some other options for you guys that will be coming soon all right let me get back to finish making these envelopes and then um, and I'm watching YouTube I like to watch other Etsy shop vlogs while I'm actually working because it makes me feel like I'm not working alone <laughs> So um, I'm going to watch a little bit of YouTube and I'll put you guys back on like fast speed so I can finish this up and hopefully be done by four so I can make the listing for the other envelope, you know? So anyway, I got to get back to it. Well, you guys, even though I didn't get to everything I wanted to get to, I did have a very productive couple of days. I think there's about 47 orders in here total that'll be going out today. This is the large Ikea bag that I put them in. So yeah. I'm going to be taking this to the post office and dropping it off and then I'll get started again tomorrow with creating the listing. There's always something to do. <laughs> Not all of the orders went out, but it was a real productive day. All right, you guys, I'm going to have to call an end to the vlog right here. You guys saw how many orders I processed in the last two days and there's still a lot of orders to be done. I think I have... I'm down to 22 orders in the queue. So as I was processing orders, more orders were coming. I think I did about 47 orders total that I'm gonna take out for today. But yeah, um, let me see, what was I gonna say? Oh, I didn't get a chance to show you guys how to create the Etsy listing or at least how I do it. So maybe I'll bring that in a future vlog, but I will be putting that character envelope up for sale shortly. Also, um, I did wanna show you guys the behind the scenes of my new product but it'll be released in just a little while. So I'll explain a little bit more after I release the product. Um, let me see, what else? I think I might come back up here later and do a couple of scratch and save books just because I have about three orders for those. So I'm gonna get those done this evening, but there's always something to be done. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you a real one, go ahead and put this one single emoji right here. Let me know if you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see in a shop vlog or information you want from me. List that down below and I'll include it in my next shop vlog. I appreciate you guys for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified next time I put out a video and then hit the like button because it helps this video to be suggested to other people who might just need the inspiration. I know I do. Also, share the video with someone else if you know they're thinking about starting an Etsy shop or just need a little bit of ideas on how to run one. All right, you guys, I think that's everything. Take care.